Ever since I made the tutorials about using the Nexion display with Arduino, I've seen common problems and questions that I want to address on this video. Especially if you're trying one of my example files and it's not working, most likely it's going to be one of the following issues. First, make sure you connect the RX pin of the display to the TX pin of Arduino. And if you're sending data from the display to Arduino, you also need to connect the TX of the display to the pin RX of Arduino. It can be confusing because the names are reversed, but that's how the serial pins are labeled. Another common mistake is not editing the configuration file of the Nexion library to use the correct serial port depending on your port. All my examples are made to be used with Arduino Uno and Nano, so you need to open this file inside the Nexion library and define the Nexion serial like this and also comment this line to avoid problems. But if you want to use an Arduino that has multiple serial ports, like the Mega, you need to add the number of the serial port that you are going to use. For example, if you want to connect the display to serial 2, which uses the pins 16 and 17, you should define the connection serial with that number. In this case, you could enable the debugging serial, although you should define a different port from the one used for the display. An additional step that you need to do if you're using the Arduino Mega is to make sure the sketch uses the same serial number for the display. If you're using one of my examples, you just have to edit every part where it says serial and replace it with serial2 with the S uppercase. Use the find tool to do this easily. Since Arduino Uno and Nano has only one serial port, which also is used to upload the sketch, you need to remember to leave the RX disconnected while uploading a sketch to avoid a conflict that will cause the uploading process to fail. For some reason there are several Nexion libraries for Arduino and not all of them work the same. If you want my examples to work, get the Nexion library from the link provided on the description. Some people reported that they could not change the serial baud rate for the display, that by default is 9600. I usually set it to 115200, which increases the refresh rate, but apparently for some people this command doesn't work. If you're getting this problem, there are a few things you can do. First, make sure to use the official Arduino IDE to compile and upload the sketch. If still doesn't work, then I recommend changing the default bar rate by creating a simple project on the Nexion editor and putting this command on the post initialize event. When you load this project on the display, it's going to change the default bar rate so from now on you don't have to send this command again on your future projects. Just make sure to remember that you must use the new bot rate on the sketch to be able to communicate with the display. Something that some people forget is to set their display on the Nexion editor. Click on device and select your display and orientation. If your display has a different size from the original used to create the project, then you will have to rearrange the objects to fit the screen. I found an issue when sending data to the display too often, especially when using faster baud rates and not using any delay on the loop. The timers on the display will lag or even stop working. If you have this problem, just add a short delay on the loop or decrease the baud rate. Also remember that the microSD card is used only to upload the TFT project file and it cannot be used by the display to store data or access images. The microSD must be formatted with FAT32 and should have only one TFT file to be able to transfer the new project to the display. For objects that send data to Arduino like buttons, it's very important to have the correct ID number written on the sketch where we declare the objects. And the ID number can be changed if you delete an object on that page, so always check for this. I think that covers most problems and don't forget to check my other videos about the Nexion display if you want to learn more about it. Good luck and see ya!